Hello Africans, I'm Stephen Mahasha. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope the learners and the people at large do benefit tremendously from this channel. Comments are highly welcome so that I can effect an improvement. The simple present tense to be presented today is a continuation of the previous one in order to deepen understanding on same. The lessons are deliberately presented briefly in order to accommodate people who struggle to buy data. However, I ensure that still they remain informative. As a recap, simple present tense verbs show actions that happen right now or repeatedly in the present. If you can look at the forms of the verbs in the given examples of the previous lesson, you will notice that they are not the same. There are verbs that take S at the end and those without S. Examples, Mary sweeps the floor every day. John writes homework after school. Paul and Peter play soccer on Saturdays. Jane and her mother wash the clothes on Fridays. Let us look at the first sentence. Mary sweeps the floor every day. The verb takes S at the end. The reason is that the subject of the sentence, who is Mary, the third person, is in a singular form, that is one person. As a result, we add S at the end of the verb, that is, Mary sweeps the floor every day. Another example, Peter and Paul play soccer on Saturdays. The people doing the action, Peter and Paul, are third persons in a plural form, therefore, we do not add S at the end of the verb. Example, Peter and Paul play soccer on Saturdays. The only exception is when the sentences start with the first person I and the second person you in a singular form. Examples, I sweep the floor every day. You sweep the floor every day. Therefore, when the sentence starts with either I or you in the simple present tense, our verbs do not take S at the end. This is the rule that you should remember always when you either write or speak in the present tense. Other examples in the present tense are I eat an apple every day. You eat an apple every day. She eats an apple every day. He eats an apple every day. They eat an apple every day. Joe and Peter eat an apple every day. Please follow the next English lesson.